wonderful. It's been a, a long process working on it. Um, we shot it in, in Cuba at the end of 2011, and we were editing it for really over, over a year. Um, it's sort of a blend of narrative and travelogue, a very personal story from the director, and it's been a great experience so far. Audience reaction has been wonderful. Tell me again the name of the film and tell me a little bit about it. Yeah, so it's called Sombras de Azul. It's Spanish language, which means shades of blue, and it's actually, um, it's very personal. It's about a young woman, who go, a Mexican woman, who goes to Cuba to grieve the recent loss of her brother, his suicide. And it's actually pulling from my own memories of my brother who had passed away. I wrote it around the four-year anniversary of his passing. Um, so. so was that, do you think that was the biggest challenge for you as a director to try to you know, have your own feelings come out in this film and then still keep it on track? Certainly, it's very sensitive material and especially when it starts to pull from, you know, real memories. But it was also a very cathartic experience and a necessary one. I sort of hadn't been, I don't think, uh, dealing with the loss adequately and so there's no better way than to heal yourself through art. It helped you to tell the story. It to did. Others. It did. And these are our actors. These are our so actors. This is my star, Sadie Buhada. Hi. He's actually my cousin. Our moms are identical twins, and another cousin of mine who's uh, Priscilla Sagun, and she did uh, the costume design. Costume. Tell me about acting in this film. What was one of the biggest aspects of, of the experience for you? What do you remember from this film? Oh my God. Uh, I don't know. It was. It's my first time acting, and it was. It was a big challenge because it's a something like familiar, and it's a lot of emotions on it. It's. It's. It was challenging, but yet amazing. Would you want to do it again? I might. I could. <laughs> <laughs> she's a natural. She yeah. did a phenomenal job. And she's really. warming up to the idea. She's. They the most expressive saying, person. <laughs> they kept saying, you're a natural, and I was like, I think you just want me to do it. <laughs> but it was As a costume designer, where do you get your inspiration from for a film like this? Well, from this film, Kelly told me her idea that was more poetic and more... It didn't have like a time set, like a... So, it was more like her style that she told me what she wanted, so you can see it through the film how like uh, when she's really sad, uh, how she's training her pain, like with the colors, how it's like going through.